Okay guys, so I wanted to make a video about the air rifle that I made for quite some time. Um, this is it. It looks a little bit like a Air Force Condor, I think. Um, I'll, uh, I'll explain a little bit how it works and uh, what it's made of. Um, this uh, air tank um, was originally um, a soda stream air tank. It's a uh, 600cc which is connected to a half inch T. Um, in this side you can see there is a Schrader valve. The other side is connected to a slide valve. Um, and I just connected a, a little piece of uh, metal in here to, uh, to work like a trigger. The slide valve, the half inch slide valve is connected to an half inch uh, QEV. Um, on the pilot side of the QEV there is the slide valve on the airport there is a, a firing chamber which is uh, just a one inch 20 centimeters long uh, tube uh, which gives me about 100 cc so the ratio between the big air reservoir and the small firing chamber is one to six um, then to the exhaust port there is a barrel a half inch a little bit more than a half inch about 14 millimeters um, aluminum tube that I just found in the street um, this tube is not connected to anything it's just there to uh, to support the, um, the scope and give me a little bit of a better vision when I put my cheek against uh, against the um, air reservoir um, basically the way it works is I feel here I can only pump 160 psi at the moment because I only have a small uh, bicycle pump um, but when I fill it, so both the air reservoir and the firing chamber get filled. Uh, then when I fire it, so only the air from here get exhaust to the barrel. And when I put it back to place, so air from the big air reservoir is refilling the, uh, the smaller uh, firing chamber. And it's ready for another shot. I can get about five or six good shots. And the way I load it is just I load it from here. I'll show you. All right. So the way I load it is just uh, I put uh, the projectile in here. I close it. It's a, it's a tight fit and it's ready to fire. Um, and currently my ammo, the ammo that I'm using. It's just some uh, nail darts that I've made. I have different types. I have those and I have uh, bigger ones. And it's pretty powerful. It's pretty powerful. I'll show you how it works uh, in a second. I'll just I'll, uh, pump it up and I'll get back to you and we'll do some shooting. Okay, so I'll pump it up to about uh, 150 or 160 PSI. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and uh, fire three shots. It's about, I think, 10 meters away. Um, what I'm gonna shoot is just this uh, piece of wood, which is about, yeah, which is about, I think, half inch thick. Yeah. So I'm gonna do my best to shoot. Uh, while uh, making this video Try to be as accurate as I can All right. Yeah, so I've already loaded up with the nail dart Shooting in three, two. Okay. So let's see where it hit. You can see that the dart, I mean the cone of the dart, has fallen. But I got it right here. And well, yeah, it went all the way. Let's try another one. Let's try actually one of those. 
It's a little shorter. the bullseye. Three, two, <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah, so I got it about the same spot. I guess I have to zero the scope, but this one also went all the way in. It's a shorter nail, but it went all the way in. Let's do the third one. And yeah, that will do. Yeah, got it right in the bullseye. This time I try to aim um, a little bit up and to the right, so now I know I have to zero my scope. This one also went almost all the way in. You can see it here on the other side, and then again that's about half inch. So yeah, it's pretty powerful, and I can get I can get probably two. Uh, or maybe three more shots with the same uh, accuracy and power as those. Um, that's it, I'm pretty happy with it. And uh, yeah, the, the upgrades I'm thinking uh, of making is uh, maybe uh, changing the Schrader valve for a quick uh, disconnect valve and uh, then maybe get a PCP pump and then I can pump it up to more pressure probably won't go for 3000 psi of course but maybe 500 600 psi i think it will hold and uh yeah just have to try and another thing uh, i was thinking maybe get a 10 millimeters uh barrel and then i can probably shoot uh, bearings inside because i couldn't find any bearings that will fit this barrel they were all either too big or too small but I guess if I'll have a 10 millimeters one it will be uh, much better yeah so that's my uh, homemade Air Force Condor I guess hope you like it yes yeah, so I just wanted to see how many shots can I actually get and with one feel of 160 psi I got one two three four five Six, seven, eight shots. I got eight shots. The last one was not as powerful, but still I got eight shots. And it was really accurate once I got to um, to the way the scope works. I still have to zero it, but basically if I aim at the same spot, it keeps um, hitting the same spot. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah, it's about uh, 48 inches long. The barrel is 25 inch. Yeah, I like it.